welcome back to my channel my name is Courtney today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look right here I'm going to be using the products that I talked about in my last makeup video my Sephora after Christmas sale things that I bought myself and then some other things that I will be mentioning so if you want to see how I got this look please keep watching Whenever I get ready, I do listen to sermons. This is the Grace to You app by John MacArthur. It has all of the books of the Bible. You can go to wherever you are. I currently am reading the Gospel of Luke, and you can go to the chapters, and then once you pull up the chapters, there's all these different sermons that you can listen to, and that is what I listen to whenever I get ready. Beginning with skincare, I am using my CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I always like to start with a lip balm. This is just a Lip Smackers holiday one. Now I'm going in with my eye cream. This is the Context Eye Cream. You always want to make sure your eyes are hydrated because it does help with things like creasing and crow's feet and just the overall appearance of the way the makeup comes out. Next up is my sunscreen. This is the Murad Sunscreen Moisturizer. I do love this and I do wear it every single day. It is so important that you guys wear sunscreen. The last step in my skin prep is gonna be my primer. This is the Stila Sheer Illumination Lingerie Souffle Skin Perfecting Primer. I'm gonna do my brows off camera, but this is the Winky Lux Universal Brow Pencil. For priming and concealing my eyelids, I am using the Too Faced Matte Instant Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Bisque. After patting in my concealer, I'm going in with my Cody Airspun Powder. This is in the translucent shade and I'm just setting it with an eyeshadow brush. Today's eyeshadow palette is the Too Faced Enchanted Beauty Foxy Neutrals palette. This is limited edition and a bonus, it smells like Christmas cookies. I'm going in with the shade Jingle Jangle in my crease. This is going to be a dramatic look so I am going to go in quite a few times. Next I'm going in with the shade Chimney. This is also going in my crease and I'm switching brushes. This is the Morphe X Jeffree Star Collection and this is the brush JS6. Next I'm going in with a flat shader brush. This one is by Kylie Jenner and I'm going in with the shade Drummer Girl. It's a deep dark mocha brown and I'm gonna kind of take my time on this. I wanna pat, pat, pat and make sure that the area is completely opaque because it is going to be really smoky and then i'm going to go over this one with black because i do find with a smoky eye sometimes if you don't have a, a dark base underneath it tends to kind of sheer out or maybe crease so i want to start with a dark brown and then build it up to a black i'm still using the same shader brush but now i'm going in with the matte black this is in the shade lump of coal and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to pat 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 and just make sure that it is completely opaque before i move on once i'm happy with the intensity i'm going to go back in with the jeffree star brush i'm not adding any more product i'm just coming in to blend everything together and make it seamless Next, I'm going in with my liquid liner. This is my tried and true e.l.f. Cosmetics liquid liner in the shade Jet Black. Now I'm just gonna do a winged liner. I do have some hyperpigmentation around my mouth. You can see there are darker areas that look like shadows. So I'm going in with my Black Radiance True Complexion HD Corrector. Oh my gosh, that's a mouthful. Um, but as you can see, it does help brighten that area. And I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. I'm not gonna show it on camera, but I'm gonna let it kind of settle for a little while. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put foundation over it. For foundation today, this is one of my absolute favorite drugstore ones. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. I absolutely love this one. This is my second bottle. I'm obsessed. When I run out of this one, obviously I'm getting kind of low, but when I will run out of this one, I'm totally gonna get another one because I love this one so much. And when it comes to the area around my mouth, I usually like to put these dots around my face and then rub in my foundation with my foundation brush. But when it comes to that area where I have the color corrector, I usually just pat it over that area if that makes sense i'm still so excited about these these are the fenty beauty match sticks and i'm gonna go in with my contour stick this is in the shade mocha 
Lately, I have actually been contouring my nose and my lips with this, and I like that it's really easy to do it with the edge of this, which is really cool. I have never done that before, but I saw an Instagram video of someone doing it, so I thought I might try it, and I actually quite like it. After I cream contour, I always take a makeup brush and just blend everything in. This is the F-A-R-A-H. I don't know if you spell it out or if it's Farah, but it does have dots behind it. So yeah, it's F-A-R-A-H. This is a stippling brush 40 FM. For my nose, I do take a smaller brush. This is probably just the size of an eyeshadow brush and I blend out the nose contour as well as my lips. Going in with the matchstick in the shade Bamboo, you can use this one as a concealer under your eyes, but today I'm just using it to kind of lift my face on the lower end, and then I really wanted to try the Too Faced concealer, so I'm going to use that one for my under eyes today. Honestly, I really love this concealer, and I don't really understand why it was on sale. Usually, I feel like they put stuff on clearance when they can't get rid of it, or maybe people didn't like it. Um, but I really love this concealer, and I'm very, very happy with it. I think it's very full coverage. I think it's great, and I don't know. I just love it. Now I'm going in with my beauty blender. This is damp and I'm just blending in on my contour and highlight. I'm going to begin with my highlight, the lower end of my face and then my under eyes. And then I'm gonna flip it over and blend in my contour. I'm not sure if you can even see this one on my face, but this is the Trippin. It's kind of a highlight, but I figured I could use it as cream blush as well. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of cute to me, so I used it. For setting my under eyes, this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. I am in the shade light to medium, and I just use that to set all my highlighted areas. For setting the rest of my makeup, this is the Complex Culture Set Go Translucent Powder in Clarity. I really like this one. I got this in my Ipsy, of course. I've never heard of this brand, but I really like it. And I just take a big fluffy brush and pat it all over my skin. For my bronzer today, I'm going in with my Tried and True Omega Bronze by Marc Jacobs. This is going to last me forever because it's freaking huge, as I've said before. So I do use this a lot and I haven't even put a dent in the product. Someone woke up while I was getting ready, so she's in here playing on her iPad. Everybody say hi! For my blush today, this did actually come with a blush and a highlight, so of course this is the one that I'm going to go with today. I'm going back into my eyeshadow palette. Now I'm gonna do my under eyes. And I must say, this palette is really pigmented. As you can see, I'm going back in with Jingle Jingle, which is the original shade that we put into the crease, the very first shade. So I'm just putting that under my eyes. And um, I think we should go pretty dark since it is a dramatic look. So now I'm gonna go back into that deep dark brown drummer girl. Same thing, I'm just gonna go under the lash line. Going back into the blush highlight duo, I'm gonna take the highlight shade and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner as well as my brow bone and I'm also going to highlight with this. My setting spray today is the Evian Facial Spray. For lip liner, I love this Kylie Jenner Coconut Nude Lip Liner, and today I'm actually just going to go with lip liner and gloss. No lipstick today. My lip gloss today is actually Drugstore. This is Maybelline Lifter Gloss, and this is in the shade Ice. Look how pretty this packaging is. I don't know why I didn't use the Too Faced mascara that came with the package. It's the Damn Girl mascara, but I totally forgot about it, I guess. Um, this one is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara. It is really good. If you guys are looking for a good drugstore one, you should definitely try this one. No surprise here, my lashes today are Lily Lashes in the style of Miami. These are my absolute favorite lashes of all time. So yeah, I guess that completes my makeup routine for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a comment down below. Leave me a like, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.